Welcome back to more Realm of Thrones, our North Remembers adventure, our King of the North survival run, where we're trying to save Rob Stark from those oh-so-nasty Red Wedding assassins of the Freys, Boltons, Lannisters, all those, all those nasty lot. And we are currently on day 82. And we have until day 234, which is when the Red Wedding fires. Before day 234, we need to capture and execute Roose Bolton. So that is what we are building towards right now. I've got a one-handed skill. Lovely. If swift strike. We have just um, got Benjin Stark in our party as quartermaster. Now, he isn't a particularly good steward. He's actually a really good scout, which I'd like to have him in as a scout instead of uh, Yak and Hagar. Um, but we need to find a better quartermaster, a better steward. And loads of people were suggesting we look at um, oh, Damon Blackfire, who is currently at the Dreadfort. Uh, I don't know if he does have good stewardship or not, but we're going to go find out. So we're going to head up to the Dreadfort. We need to recruit new northern troops anyway. I have seen one or two ask... Am I going to go for a mix of um, a mix of troop types? Uh, potentially in time, have like a mix of northern ones. But I think very much for this series, for this run, it, it's all about the north and what have you. So um, I'd quite like to stick primarily with northern troops. We're not going to be getting a dragon. Uh, watch my Westerland series if you want to see us with a dragon. For this campaign, it's going to be about some solid northern troops. We're going up through the valley. I was hoping we'd sail, but you've decided to go up that way, have you? Oh, 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 oh. There is a tournament at the Eyrie, but I guess we're going past that now. Where, where are we going to go? Oh, there is, there is a port fishing jetty that way. I don't know which way my character is going right now. Join us on a magical mystery tour of Westeros. Oh, no, there's a crossing point here. Perfecto. Lovely. Oh, Sisterton. There's a tournament at Sisterton. In we go. Why not? I'm terrible, but let's do it. Rob Stark of the North Grants. Pink Maiden to Mage Mormont. Okay, thanks for letting me know. What are we fighting? Let's find out. In my opinion, what does this game need? Like The base game needs more kingdom management options, more diplomacy options, and probably a like, better storyline or just more... More interactive quests that guide you around the sandbox experience at times. Those would kind of be my biggest things. What about you? What's my banner design you chose in the end? Oh, I'll show you that after this tournament. Remind me, uh, Harkador. Southern decorated chainmail. We'll be selling that if we survive. Oh, what a strike to your face. Let's go take out that chap again. Yeah. He's down. None of these guys are my companions, so it doesn't matter who I take out right now. Ow. Why? You're a House Royce soldier. I love it when you can chain together the swings like that and just keep on swinging. He's got nearly a slower swing than me, but I've got a slightly faster one. Got him. Uh, Benjamin Stark. Uh, Dick Crab. <laughs> At least he's not Crab Dick. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Let's take out red and uh, blue first. Oh, yeah, don't want to go up against Benjin. Because even if I get taken out of this tournament, if Benjin makes it through, then he still wins the reward and it goes into our inventory. It's everybody's favorite. Oh, no, no! I've been dick crabbed. I was like, well, I mean, it was, it was Benjin actually getting me, I think. But damn it, dick crab. It's not something I thought I'd be saying on a Thursday afternoon. Nobody expects Dick Crab. Or Benjamin Stark for that matter. Benjamin Stark makes it through and Benjamin Stark wins. Huzzah! Cool. 
Well done, Benjamin. May have lost myself, but uh, you have brought honor to our house by defeating Dick Crab. Yeah, sell. I mean, the armor's nice, but sell it because gold is what we need. I also want to if you want to see the banner. Here we go. Look at it. It's a happy wolf banner with some with some nice northern swords. Love it. Then Blackfire has 50 stewardship. Ah. I need I need someone with really good stewardship. Is there anyone good here? Dick Crab, are you good at stewardship? I can't see. <coughs> I just need a really good quartermaster. Is Damon Blackfire still here? Still at the Dreadfort, apparently. Yeah, we need someone with more stewardship to give us more um, more troops because Benjamin's 80 gives us plus 20 party size. And that's the highest we've got. Um, it's steward, right? That does that. Yeah. Oh, another tournament at White Harbor. Let's just see if there's anyone here we can recruit first. It's really high because that will help us massively be able to catch up to this, the size of um, the size of Roose Bolton's army. Take these guys. We need to fight some smaller forces. I mean, Damon Blackfire should be a good, good, um, a good fighter at least. Not bad. He hopefully might help us take out. Um, Bruce Bolton. I've got some axe. Yeah, of course, Northern Tournament's all about the two-handed axes. That's Yak and Hagar, isn't it? Nice. Part of the whole It's Yak and Hagar is more like It's John Cena. <laughs> I think we're through. Hear more. No, like shoot the dude charging straight at you with the axe. How do you manage to like duck and weave and dodge that? Oh, no, you're down as well. Yeah, we're still through though. Oh God, it's two handed terror time. Ah, no, no. Oh, I should have run the other way. Did Benjamin, Benjamin Stark just got taken out as well. So, ripped. Theomore is an absolute legend, apparently, but he got beaten by Benfred Tollhart. <sighs> what is Brienne's? Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know what Brienne's is. She might potentially have... Um, have good stewardship. Where is she? She's at even full hall. That is quite a ways to go, but let's go see if we can find old uh, Blackfire and just check him out. As long as he's not too expensive. See if there's any more um, Any more hideout, Robber Knight hideouts. Or just hideouts in general. We might find something nice. Maybe Lord Varus. I don't know if Lord Varus is a, is a wanderer, is he? Crownlands. I've seen it. Tumbleton. He is. What, really good at stewardship? Okay, we could go get Lord Varus. He's one of the best stewards together with Tyrion. Oh, wait, yeah, Tyrion. Uh, I was thinking, like, yeah, I mean, roleplay-wise doesn't make a huge amount of sense, but, like, 
right now or do anything possible to save Rob Stark. Would Varys help us save Rob Stark though? Probably not. I don't know if, is it mentioned maybe in the books, but like in the show, it seemed very much like it was a, a big surprise that the Red Wedding, was it, was the virus was really taken aback by it or? Yeah, I can't see your stewardship there. You're not actually particularly great, but won't you have, um, will he have a unique sword? Let's have a chat. Let's find out how expensive you are. Just need your sword. Ooh, 6k. Yeah, not right now. For, for that, mate. Varus might be how we learned about... Ooh, yeah, I like that. Varus is... Yeah, I mean, he's playing the field at all times, right? But maybe it's Varus that um, let, us, let us know about... What's going to happen to Rob? Okay, let's go get Varus then. Varus wants to stabilize the realm and a stable north is good. I'll take that. I'll take that as, a, as a, enough of a explainer reasoning. Let's go get Varus then. Select all you guys, put you all in the infantry. Because that's all we've got. That's all we need. We are Northmen. I really need some better armor. Hold. Take him out, lads. Give him a damn. Actually, most of my troops should just be um, wounded because we've got a, we've got um, Kyburn now as our maester, as our maester, as our healer, and he's really good at saving saving men, making them only wounded, which is good. We've lost one. Oh, a northern hero. That's a shame. Nice. What a javelin. Oh, he's straight dead. Nice. Well done, chaps. Five wounded, one killed. Yeah, death, death is still on. Uh, one, one went down, but yeah, it's just Kyburn doing an absolutely amazing job. Footman recruits into uh, start levy. Northern hero into a warlord. Northern hero, northern hero, northern hero. Yeah, I'll show you the stats, you guys, the stats for uh, Kyburn again in a minute, because they are pretty disgusting. Can I have a better horse now? Yes. Good, you'll be a bit faster now. Yeah, if we go to parties, we go to surgeon. Kyburn is 160 medicine, so it casualty survival chance plus 1.6%. Uh, healing rate increase. Oh, it's healing, healing rate increase for heroes and healing rate increase for troops. Casualty survival shots plus 1.6%. I don't know. I think he, he factors into it more than that somehow. I like that the North has all the troop types. Yeah. Are we keying the North yet? Very much no. We are we are very much still trying to help out Rob Stark of the North. Um, right, let's go. Um, yeah, let's go find Lord Varys in Tumbleton. Um. 
Um, ba -ba -bum. Into the sea. It's going to be going out of car hold, isn't it? There's a, yeah, there's a point there. And sailing on down. It's going to be the quickest way. Um, although we do technically need one more unit to be at full strength. Well, I mean, we're going to, we're going to have to come back up north once we've got Varus for stewardship anyway. For more northern troops. So it's going to be a lot of back and forth. A lot of back and forth. Uh, who leveled up? Tyburn. Yeah. <laughs> We are doing we are doing well against the Westerlands though. Pretty well, in fact. Do I need to help you, Rob? I mean, yeah, I do, probably. But still. If the Red Wedding don't occur. It's very interesting to see how different things play out though. Compared to the Westerland series. But yeah, come down to King's Landing. Do, 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 do. Love seeing that wall off in the distance. It's so well modelled. Yeah, we came up through White Harbour on our way, uh, on our way north. Widow's Watch. Who holds that? The Reach. Through the eerie we shall go. Do, 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 do. The only problem is with all this traveling back and forth, we lose valuable time that we could be, I guess, you know, training up and uh, improving relations with the Northern Lords. I don't think we're going to do much improvement with their, with their, um, With their relations, to be honest, it's going to be. We'll have to do a lot of that when we're when we're a mercenary again after we've executed Roose Bolton. Oh, tournament! It'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? Three for three. The reason why we do it is because it doesn't take any time in game to do. So it's not like we're losing time by doing it. And if anything, it's helping us level up. And if we do happen to get lucky and win, we've now got the perk where we gain more renown through tournaments. So it does mean we're likely to level up our clan tier faster, which means we'll be able to field more troops and have more like options of improving the realm or improving our kingdom or joining kingdoms as such. So they're worth doing in my opinion, even if I suck at them, because I'll only get better if I practice. One of the things why I find combat quite satisfying in Battle is that it matters where it really matters where you aim. There I was like doing some higher sweeps, and that's why I was able to get a headshot on that guy. No, oh, great. I'm up against Benjin start. I'm gonna need to shoot him to try and save my two-handed chap, because otherwise. Yep, yeah, that's gonna happen. Ho 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 ho! Right, Benjamin's down. Now I just gotta take out the archer. Like two more hits probably should get him. Got him. Too early a thrust. Oh, that was a couch lance if I ever saw one.
mods. We're just using Realm of Thrones and the Dismemberment mod. Nothing else. Final round. Okay. Should be winnable. King mode. What's king mode? when I tried to form my own kingdom. Oh, I'm not doing that in this run. We're fighting alongside Rob Stark once we save him. One. Huzzah. Your master's quite a good blade, if I remember correctly. It's like a base game one. Ba, 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 ba. Mm, oh, no, it's not quite the one I'm thinking of. Uh, it's a reasonable cut to it, though. Good length. Um, just slow with the thrust, That's just, which is fine because I don't really care for that. So, yep. Keep those and sell the rest. Nice bit of loot. How much food do we got? Not much. Get more grain. And we'll also ransom our prisoners. <clears throat> I am... Yeah, just head to Tumbleton directly. However, it wants to take me there. Lord Virus is still at Tumbleton, apparently. Though are we going to go in the water? What, to go round, down and up? Okay, fine. We're literally doing that to go across the Maiden Pool. I'm not going to do that tournament. For now, I'm gonna go get Varus. I need to know actually as well where Roos Bolton is. I want to keep an eye on him at all times. He's still at Duskendale. Okay. He's not in Duskendale. So he must be around it somewhere. Ramsey. Oh, Ramsey Snow. Bruce Bolton. Oh, God, he's got 150. Damn. That's going to be difficult. That's going to be difficult. The North's too strong in this one. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I need them. I need to catch them as they've gone into a siege and hopefully, like, even if they win the siege, he just takes a lot of cash and then hit him straight after. Oh, you can you, do you capture him if you duel him? Okay. In that case, I've got to get my Eye of the Tiger training montage on. If I can't beat his army, I'll have to beat him in a duel, which will be madness. Like, if I lose the duel, what happens to me? Lord Varys. Oh, you beautiful steward, you. Right, yeah, we'll pay through the nose for you. What is it, stranger? Who are you? Hello, mate. 
Now the Master of Whisperin. Even from Venabor, he may still prove useful. Okay, you someone like you in my company. A thousand. Job done. Beautiful. <laughs> nice, nice cloak though. Well, that's, that's nice. He'll need to accept the jewel though. <laughs> so if I lose, he captures me. Hmm. Not good. Right. Um, let's see how many more troops I'll be able to get now. So switch out Benjin to be Lord Varus. Plus 62. Perfect. That's what we want. Um, yeah, we'll swap out Yakin Hagar for Benjin because he's the better one there. And then engineer Yakin Hagar because that makes sense. What has... Um... You've got... You have no weapons. I mean, yeah, makes sense. We're going to have to keep you somewhere safe, aren't we? Put you in your own little group and keep you at the back. All right, so how many troops can I now have? 107. Better. Kingswood Outlaws. Let's go fight them. You best back off. You best back off. Ugh. Oh, we're drawing in the other group as well. Um, Varus, I'm going to pop you in. Yeah. Leave Varus behind. Infantry! Charge! I think it's best I dismount for this as well. Get him, lads. Victory. We have won. Soldiers, footmen. Boom. Lovely. Uh, give me all your swag. Oh, was that something? I just saw something worth a lot in that. Oh, the King's Destria. That's going to get sold. Yeah. Um, well, let's head back to Duskendale. And then back north. So we get more troops, then we'll return down here and yeah, just play a game of build up as much relationships as possible with Northern Lords, helping fight them, but keep close enough that yeah, oh, there's Roose Bolton. Keep close enough that if we need to take him out, we can quickly switch our allegiance, our contracts. Dread Dreadfort Pikemen, 43 of them. 21 cavalry. Yeah, if he could lose a few more troops, that'd be good eat. to know where the armies of the realm are headed to as well. Ransom prisoners. Let's go sell some swag. Uh, keep the beer. Keep the olives. Keep the meat. Keep the dates for now. Yeah, definitely. How much I'd love to keep that. But that's going to fund our war effort for quite some time. Quite nicely. So, yeah, keep that. Um, Varus, do, would you like a sword at least to defend yourself? Masterwork broadsword. Go on, mate. I'm sure you know your way around a blade. Crowned helmet. 
Oh yeah, I did see a one two cop as well saying would I would I get consider getting giants? Um yes. But like not worried about like Oh, I went to that the other way, damn it. But yeah, I'm not bothered about getting them anytime soon. Just because my main focus right now. Oh, we made it through. My main focus right now is obviously saving Rob. And doing whatever I need to do to ensure that that happens. Oh, crap. Yeah, I didn't go well. Robert Glover is the winner. I don't think Varus has fond memories of sharp edges. <laughs> 1-1 one, one versus Roos Bolton. Yeah, would 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 go well. Um, right, let's go. We need to get back, back back up to the north. Let's head back to White Harbour. Get more troops. And uh, go from there. Although, do I want to redeem myself at Maiden Pool? Maybe. Black, oh, Blackheart's the really good... Is that the really good axe or the two-handed sword? I forget. Uh, it's the big two-handed axe, which would be quite nice for our character, to be fair. So I kind of want to win this now. Cavalry time. Any of my other characters here? No. Ow. Take one more of them out. I just wait until those two engage and then pick off whoever's stuck on the outside. That did some damage. You captured Bolton but was unable to execute him to be able to save Rob. Oh, really? Like, well, the option just didn't come up. Were you a mercenary? Or were you a... Hmm. And which version of the mod as well? Like a recent one or older one? Five point zero. You're part of the Westerns as a lord or a mercenary. Hmm. Oh yeah, he couched me. I knew he was gonna. I could see that coming. That's fine. We're still through the next round anyway. Oh, 
Yes. Oh, I was trying to pull him back so this guy would save me. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, no. Oh, I want this axe. No. Oh, I can't block to save my life. Damn you, Flint. I wanted that axe. Every time I go to block up, it's like, no, block down to the left. Ah! Anyway, White Harbor. Let's get some more troops. But anyway, yeah, from a roleplay perspective, Varus is now our steward. He is the one that has let us know about whisperings of a great betrayal of the King in the North, Rob Stark, by his... Uh, Commander of the Dreadfort, Roose Bolton. And has tasked us to try and restore some semblance to stability to the realm. Keeping, uh, because Varys fears a broken, fractured north more than a north led by Rob Stark. And uh, Varys has also heard whisperings of mad, wild things occurring north of the wall. And so once the north's strong... And capable to turn on that than a weak north that would be easily overrun. And so the spider spins his web once more. Well, if we've got a jewel holder. Bolton, we need to get better combat. I oh, will need a better shield as well. Form fitting armor or fury. Weapon handling while on foot. Yes. Ooh, some pirates to run down. They'll be good. Oh, northern recruits. Uh, yeah, take everyone. Then we don't want the Mormont, northern soldier, northern woodsman. Nice. A pure blood horse, that'd be good. It's going to be two-handed. Yeah. I knew it. Someone was asking why why don't I bother doing bets on this. I mean, because of my really pitiful skill. Usually. Mainly with two-handed weapons and blocking. Oh, no. Okay, right. Wait until I'm through to the next round, at least. Oh, well done yakking a guy. You just full-on assassinated him. Oh, you're a speedy boy. Okay, we want to take Kim out rather than Yakin. No. There we go. Oh, one, a two-handed round, and I blocked. Yeah, we want Yakin. Oh, I can't, I can't lose. I've got the horse no matter what because if I lose, it'll be Yakin versus Benjin, and both of them are my men. Perfect. What a show. This is what we want. Oh, I tried to block again. Thanks, mate. Who won? Was Benjin. Thanks for the horse. I'm probably going to sell it. Because I'm hoping it's worth a lot of gold. A lot of coin. Yes, it is. I'm, a, I'm just a, a horse merchant at this point, but I ain't going to knock it. Um, Kerwin, we want Stark Levy, Stark Levy, Northern Recruits, Northern Men at Arms. No, it's not the line of troops I want particularly. I'm just going to go all, I mean, I probably should go for a mix, actually. Stark Levy, should I start getting some Stark Bowmen in there as well, rather than Stark Soldiers? We want to get everyone to Stark Levy and then a few footmen to House Guard and then some Longbows. Keep it infantry focused for now, I think. Sounds good to me. All right, um, head back over here. I'm trying to find the uh, robber knights, aren't we? Oh, noble warrior. They they turn into cavalry for us, actually. Yeah, I'll quite happily take all of you. I mean, a few elite cavalry is not terrible. I will probably get White Harbor Knights later on. 
I'm just focusing on Starks right now because I'm trying to heavily lean into that we're a Star Starks bannerman here. As such, oh yeah, we don't want the Mormonts. Or at least we're we're incredibly loyal to the Starks, is what we're roughly aiming for. I may have to recruit, you know, some troops down south though and Westerlands ones to fill any gaps that we encounter if we lose some of these. I'm trying to see if we can find those robber knights again. Let's just throw in a real quick save because I'd like to know what day we're on. Ninety-seven. Okay, that's good. That's good. Not lost too much time. So I, I was originally saying I'd, I'd wait until about day 150 and then start trying to go after Roos. So we've got another 50 days, which is a decent amount of time still. We'll start. Yeah, we'll go down the... Oh, there's a... Ah, perfect. Hideout. That will give us a load of loot, hopefully. It won't level up my troops, but... They're good for knocking out. We can try and hunt down the broken men. Wait until nightfall... Lots of cav, yeah, lots of Western's cav. If I have some solid infantry, I should be able to defeat them, hopefully. Well, the Western's cavs are pretty... I mean, the Western cav absolutely slaughtered the... When we were fighting again, in my Western's campaign, when we were fighting, it was... Uh, it was the cavalry supremacy that, like, won the day. So, we'll have to see, I guess. I may be very, very picky and careful as to who we go after. What I want to try and do is just follow Roos Bolton around. Wait until his party gets shattered, but maybe just survives or weakened. jump on Roos Bolton the moment he's in a poor state. Because I reckon I've got a better chance of defeating his army than him right now. At least if I do it carefully. Need a better shield. Actually, yeah, before we leave, I might spend some of my money on getting some better armor, actually. Northern armor. Let's do that. Nope. Where to now, chaps? Has he got a spear? Yeah, I'll fight you in that case. You. Oh no, you got a sword, damn. Victory! Ah, oh, nuts. 
Bada bing, bada boom. You're my prisoners. Level you uh, guys up. Start levy. We'll go for... It's only the one, isn't it? Yeah, but let's start getting some bowmen now. Yeah, more start levy. Boom. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, let's go get some armor. And then we will probably wrap things up for today. Let's go to Winterfell. So if I can capture these, I might just let my troops all charge in. Let them gain some XP. It's not going to take me too far away from Winterfell. No, it's fine. Up we go. Can still get, yeah, not many. Good. Oh, we got, ah, uh, we got White Harbor Squire. When did I get you? Whoops, my bad. I'll swap you out. Am I going to get a crossbow in this? Uh, no, if I, if I get a missile weapon, I probably will have a bow. Because the Starks have some nice big bows. Hey, Rob. How you doing? Oh, I'm out of food. Rut row, rut row, rut row. Let's take a hundred so we don't need to worry. Oh, did I not take it? Oh, yeah, I did, yeah. Did, did, did. Right, any nice northern armor? House Mandalay Braze, John Shrew's Gorgette. That, I mean, that is quite a nice Gorgette, to be fair. Ned Stark's clothes. Mm, Mormont braces. Have a bit of everything a bit northern. I mean, that is pretty good, though, on the body armor. Yeah, none of those are really... Uh, uh, Jamie's northern armor. Oh, that's kind of cool. Didn't realize they put in one of those. Brigadine. Mm. What's Mandalay like? Oh, I think we'll have to shop around. We'll go somewhere else. Mandalay pauldrons are kind. Mm. I like that I've got that though there. I mean, Ned, how does Ned start that? That looks pretty sick to be fair. I'll see if I can find something better than that though. The Mormont braces are nice though, so let's go for them. Mormont boots. About the same. Okay. Well, and I would like a better a northern helm, so we'll continue shopping. Yes, I'm just about to finish. Wanna say hi? You wanna cuddle? Yeah. What you got? What if I got those of mine? I got you later. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can you help me in the video? Okay. Yeah. Can you say, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you guys have enjoyed. See you next time. See you next time. Ciao for now.